Hey fam, welcome to another episode of Candace in Color. This color is pink. We love to see it. Yes, so I have my favorite pink products and if you could guess, um, the most of them are lip products. So I'm actually going to start with the lips today. So I have a bunch of pink lipsticks. Pink obviously is like one of the most common lipstick colors. We love a pink lip. I have a lot of pinks, but I pulled out my, again, absolute favorite pinks. Um, I have three liquids, um, a bullet, and a lip gloss. Um, I have a lot, again, of lip products, but these definitely, I was like, pink, pink. And now, in terms of pink, I like a bright pink. I do like a bright pink lip if I'm doing a pink lip. Um, so, these are in that category. So, the first two are Milani Amour Matte Lip Creams. I know y'all tired of hearing these, like y'all tired of seeing those LA Girl liners, but it's, it is what it is. If it's good, it's good. So, the first color we have um, in the Amour Matte Lip Cream, I'm wearing both of them in, like, an ombre lip situation today. This is Sweetheart. Sweetheart is the I'm gonna swatch both. Sweetheart is the lighter one. And then we have Gorgeous. Okay. We have the deeper one. Deeper pink. That's more of a fuchsia kind of thing. So these two, um, this more matte lip cream formula, it's transfer proof, all day wear, comfortable, lightweight. I always say they're the lightest, most comfortable, transfer proof matte liquid lipstick that I have ever experienced um so beautiful comfortable make sure you go check them out i know they have these in like a satin form a formula now yeah i have a few of them and there's another formula i think i know they have a metal anyway um definitely check these two out in terms of the pinks then i have a Too faced melted matte liquid lipstick and this is in the shade um bend and snap this is definitely a muted mauvey pink it's not in the neon bright category but it's still I think this is a, for most people, um, a, a wear, more wearable pink shade right here. And I think that's absolutely beautiful. Again, the melted mattes are long wear, transfer proof, all that kind of fancy jazz. They aren't just as comfortable, um, they're not as thin as the Milani's in my opinion. I just feel as though Milani's are so thin, yeah, I can get an opaque look with, you know, just one dip in the tube. And I, I just... Um, but that's another one. My favorite bright pink bullet lipstick. I'm gonna take it back. A little story time. Uh, anybody ever used to watch Time the Infamous? I don't watch her anymore. Um, for whatever reason. But she did a video. And it was just a random video. And her lip, that bright pink. And it was a Nick. It was Nick's Shocking Pink. I ran to my beauty store. And I bought it. And it is still my favorite, like, bright candy pink. It's a matte bullet lipstick. And... It is definitely a creamier matte. Oh, God. It's still so super creamy. I got to be careful. Definitely a creamier matte. Look at this lipstick. And it is just... Remember Candy Yum Yum and, like, the Nicki Minaj bright pink? This was that era. This was that era. And a brown lip liner take you a long way. So, oh, but it was just gorgeous. And I was like, I need that lip. And this was, like, I was wearing this all the time. So, yes. Nick Shocking Pink. I had to show it some love. Absolutely. And then finally, um, while I don't wear very much pink lip gloss, I wear like pinky nude lip glosses. Um, the one pink that I do reach for, um, I have some Fenty pinks, Fenty lip glosses, but they're still fairly new to me. They're still fairly new, so I'm not going to throw them in the favorite, even though I love a Fenty formula. I'm not doing that. This one, however, I know I've worn plenty of times, and this is the, this is the deluxe size, but this is the Buxom... Full-on lip polish in the shade Julie. Okay, so this is the full-on lip polish. So it has a little bit of that shimmer, sparkle, and it's a. Uh, it's not like a super opaque, but it's definitely on the. It's definitely a pink lip gloss. Classic pink. I'm trying to get some built up on the hand so you really can see. Classic pink lip gloss. Look at that. Really beautiful. I love the Buxom formula. Um, the full-on lip polishes and the full-on lip creams. I love the formula. They're comfortable. They, I don't see any tingling or plumping, to be honest with you. I know I do feel a little tingle. I do feel it. Nothing uncomfortable or anything like that, but they don't do that for my lips in terms of plumping, but they're just, they're really good lip gloss. Really comfortable. Um, not sticky at all. Actually, a little hydrating on the lips. Um, yeah. So, I recommend just any of the Buxom. Like, if you don't like a pinky gloss, but I recommend that formula in terms of, like, the high-end side of things. I like that formula. 
Okay, now we're going to go on to face. I'll do eyes last. We'll do face. Now, the only thing I have pinky that I like favorites are blushes. Now, because pink is kind of like the, when you think of blush, you think of pinks. Um, it's one of those things where there's so many in my collection. I'm like, oh, this is pretty, this is pretty, this is pretty, this is pretty. So I just have two, um, brands two, that I think make blush really well. And paints really well. So the first brand is MAC, obviously. MAC's make one, MAC's make... Mm, let me come down. MAC makes wonderful blushes for women of color. Um, you guys know Raisin is my all-time favorite blush. It's not a pink blush, but it is just beautiful. This one is a little bit pinkier. This is called Fever. I have this blush. It's absolutely beautiful as well. Um, these blushes, they have matte. They have um, matte blushes. They have... Um, like satin shimmery blushes. They have different finishes. Um, baked blushes. MAC, I definitely recommend you looking for blushes. You're going to find a blush for you. You're going to. Um, the pinks are wonderful. The bright ones are wonderful. You're going to find a blush for you. So this is my fever blush. Um, but again, I love, you know, I have plenty of them. And then the second brand, um, a drugstore, uh, sort of, it's still on, it's online, but drugstore price, Coastal Scents. I cannot rave enough about these forever blushes. When I got, when they came out, they were like $8 and I grabbed all of them. I think there was like a 50% off site wide sale, whatever, whatever. And I picked them up. Now, Coastal Scents sells, uh, individual pan blushes, like magnetic pan blushes, like they're hot pots. Don't get those, those are trash. But these blushes, oh my goodness, I have a couple pinks here. Most of them are pink. I think they have like 18 shades, or they used to. Most of them are pink. This is the shade Elegant. Oh, so pretty. My lights are making it really light, but no, this definitely works for me. Elegant, um, this one is Glamorous. What am I wearing today? I forgot what I put on that. Oh, I am wearing Glamorous today. I'm wearing Glamorous right now, so. Yes, absolutely beautiful. Most of them are, are matte, but then they have a couple satin ones that reflect light really well, really beautifully. So, yeah, with blush, I have so many pink blushes that, like, they're all, like, yeah. But in terms of, like, brands, I just, I figured I'd do it that way and recommend some that make great pink blushes. So, check them out. All right. Now we're on the eyes. Um, I was shocked that I didn't have as many pink favorites as I do. Like, I was just expecting pink to be a big category. And, um, I really realized that while you have palettes that have great pops of pink in them, you know, you know, I'm trying not to recommend palettes that just have one pink, but, or one color, but it was, it was, one, there's not really many all, all pink palettes, but two, I don't, I was just shocked in terms of like single eyeshadows. I don't have a favorite single pink eyeshadow. Um, I don't have any, because I use pink, but I just, I, it's not one of those that's hot. It's not hot for me. All right, but that's okay. So here, what we do have, I have a pink eye, I have two pink eyeliners. I'll start with those. This is the ColourPop Cream Gel Liner. Now this, I'm wearing this today. This is in the shade Insomniac. Beautiful pink. My chair, y'all. My chair is a mess. They some WD-40 or a new chair. Um, the LA Girl. Hold on. Crazy enough, with the LA Girl ones, I don't have a pink one because I was looking. Cause yeah, that would have been a favorite. But anyway, this is a neon pink. It's called Insomniac. It's from ColourPop. Um, and this is a beautiful neon pink. I will say, when I wore it, I had like a neutral eye on, and I wore this in the waterline, and it looked like I had pink eye. I don't know, but yeah, it wasn't. Didn't look that good, but it looks good with this look here. So, um, yeah, I have that one. And then my favorite, you guys already know, I wore it in this look. You probably can guess. It is a Suva Beauty. Ooh, my head is just Suva Beauty Hydra Effects, one of the water activated cake liners in the shade Scrunchy. And it is a neon pink. And I am wearing that. That's my liner today. Gorgeous, right? Absolutely gorgeous. I've talked about these so many times in this series. I don't need to say anything else. You guys, you guys, absolutely wonderful. I am putting this in not so much for the brand, but for what it is. So, this is a neon pink pigment. This is from Blush Tribe, which is, I don't think is even in business anymore. But any neon pink pigment. I just think when it comes to loose pigments, pinks are really good. Like, pinks, I don't know. 
Um, again, this, I don't even know what shade this is, but this is a neon pink pigment from Blush Tribe. And I wanted to just mention, like, in terms of pigments, I like neon pigments. Um, and pinks are always my favorite when it comes to neon pigments. So, I don't know, I just wanted to say that. All right, and then I have two palettes. You probably can guess what one is um, because it's pinks. This is the Juvia's Place uh, Sweet Pinks palette. Um, I really like that I did this series because a lot on um, Juvia's Place comes out, you know, they came up with these monochromatic minis. And I have a bunch of like, not a bunch, but like, there are other brands that have monochromatic minis. Um, you know, Perfusion, I love those. But again, all of their palettes are my favorite. So Perfusion has a pinks, fuchsias, whatever palette, but it just didn't make it in this cut. Um, I know I have the Ruby Kisses, maybe Pinky Palette didn't make it in, but Juvia's Place quality makes it in every time. Oh, that's the back of it. Makes it in every time. So again, if you want some pinks, here you go. And then the last palette I have, I think I, at some point I probably recommended every single one of these as well. This is a very large um, palette, expensive, but it has enough pinks in there for me to be like, all right, I'm going to recommend it. I do recommend all of them, though. The Anastasia Beverly Hills Norvina Pat Pro Pigment Palette, and this is volume four. Check that out. Look how pretty that is. This is the most recent one. You have one, two, three, four, five-ish pinks. Um, and then you have a sparkly pink. You have a metallic, like pinky glitter, rose gold glitter. Uh, beautiful. And the packaging's pink. There you go. You want the aesthetic. Absolutely beautiful. Quality is top-notch on those Novena palettes. Um, they're pressed pigment palettes. You know, I've talked your ear off about those. Um, but yes, those are my pink products. I really enjoyed this this pink look. It really it really is it's beautiful. I really like this one. I'm going to be sad washing it off. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions, comments, concerns about any other products mentioned in this video, feel free to leave it down below. I love you all, and I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Bye!